Yo, what is up gamers? Today we are playing Tainted Lost Themselves, the mega hard character, starting with Golden Brimstone today. What's our first treasure room? It's gonna be knockout drops. This is gonna be really good once we get perfection. So what's going on here? We got Epiphany on so we can play with golden items because I have not played with golden items in uh, far too long. And I was looking at some comments and I saw someone say, hey Matt, you used to do the series where you started with one specific item, hello Guppy, and try to get to the end of the game. And I was thinking you know what it has been a while since i've done that but how can i spice things up and make it slightly different so instead i'm starting with specifically golden brimstone which is going to be two brimstones for us so we get the extra wide beam and the damage but i'm adding a bit more challenge i am completely halting off all devil rooms and boss drop items the only items i can get are from the treasure room in fact you know what also the shop yeah we're not going to take the shop either i'm only going to be taking items from the treasure room so with this in mind i love to take this glass eye but I will not be doing it instead. Well, okay, this uh, uh, this counts. I'll say this counts. <laughs> if I got a planetarium, that also counts because that would be sick and uh, really cool. But yes, can we get to the end of the game with double brim and only treasure room items? We're going to have a significantly uh, way less amount of items by the end of the run. Our stats will be low, but maybe I can clutch it out. With this in mind, I think we should definitely be going down poor. We're starting the run very strong, but as we progress, we're going to get weaker and weaker up until the point where I don't know if I'll be able to defeat the last boss. So let's see what's what's happening why is this place so weird <laughs> this is not what i'm used to for downpour okay okay i'm gonna okay and it's back to normal and that's just how it is sometimes i don't know what that was or why that was doing the thing it did but i actually felt like i unlocked a new easter egg for the binding of isaac i felt like the pink salmon room for the downpour i was a little bit taken aback so the main things we have to go on for i assume every single floor will be the treasure room that's the only way i'm gonna be allowing myself to get any kind of pickups here any kind of buffs for myself i can't even hope for like a mom's knife or something in a devil room and angel rooms are just as much off limits so where is this treasure room please be good this is the reason that i want to go to alternate floors because while starting with golden brim sounds incredible for us having the choice of two different items oh what <laughs> Uh, will mean that maybe one of them is really good. Or, 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 yeah, that's right. Seal moment for real, for real. I can get a classic synergy, which I don't think I've had in maybe years. Brimstone Tammy's head. I don't, yeah, I actually do not remember the last time I used this. Come in here, defeat Blub super easily. Just kidding. He did not get one shot. And this is where it gets scary. Because again, I can't take that damage up. Tammy's head seems like it's going to be an instant win item. But if we stay at 8 base damage this entire time, at some point the game will outscale us. And we're going to be spending maybe like 30 seconds long on an entire boss fight. At which point there's a really high chance that we get hit. We are tainted, lost one hit and we are completely done for if we don't have mantle. What about in here? Oh my god. Okay, hello. Um... Bombs are great. I don't really have a roll, so wait, 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 wait. Secret rooms. Secret rooms, I'm also gonna leave off limits. <laughs> Treasure rooms only. That's right. Mega challenge today. I'd love to just go around and pick up 99 bombs for no reason, but I'm staying true to the challenge. At some point, I'm going to die. There's not gonna be any restarts, no shenanigans. If I die, I die. If I die so early on, I'll probably have to end up restarting the recording, but I will try and get to the end of the game as far as I can. Let's get this challenge started. One more treasure room to go before we hit up like the caves and that's where it's gonna get real scary okay dross 2 is terrifying to me the enemies here have a high potential of defeating me i need some keys whoa what a lemon mishap uh if a one percent item spawns like this i'll count it you know the same deal as like the golden chests but specifically secret room items devil items shop items etc those are off limits i will not be touching them whatsoever also kind of wanted to play a bit of Tainted Loss because I saw Super play Tainted Loss recently because he has been playing a lot of Isaac. He finally unlocked Tainted Loss and I've just been watching him do a bunch of runs. I got kind of an- Ooh, hello. You know, I can't take you. I got kind of an itch to do it, you know? Big fan of this character. Not so much a fan of the fact that I have uh, no keys. Where are my keys, man? There could be a key in the shop. You know, I don't have the items that I want to buy from there. But uh, keys are on limits. Oh, okay. That's really good for us. Give me this key. And hopefully this treasure room goes crazy. Dad's key. There's a lot of key coded things happening right now. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to interpret this. Instead, I'm just going to take the blind and I'll get little Loki, which will be nice if we get conjoined. Okay, we have one safety net to an extra holy card. Let's just use our time's head as effectively as we can. And as we can see already, 
this is oh no this is where it gets bad dude because it seems like you're all nice and fine and dandy and then you use tammy's head on a boss and you don't instantly one shot like what an incredible ego hit you know how that feels it's like wait wait you're not instantly dead, <laughs> at which point you proceed to crap yourself. I'll take perfection. So let's not get overconfident here, because at any point, I really could get double tapped in GG. We could restock for potentially another holy card. I'll do a bomb moment, please. Uh, mystery gift. That counts as taking an item, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, this is great. I, that's exactly what I wanted. That's a bit rough, I am not gonna lie. However, we do have another restock through the other shop. Seems kinda dumb, but <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get another, another holy card. Shops are definitely the way to go when you are playing Tainted Loss. You find so many of the holy cards in them, but you really can't bank on them. The fact that I even found two is very lucky for me. I don't expect any more to show up. We do have guaranteed perfection knockout drops working for us. You gotta stop TPing me around, dude. I'm getting majorly confused. Uh, but yeah, our knockout drops are working always now so the extra damage from that is essential we can't lose perfection i mean if we do we would literally die and i realize now as well that uh, i took mom's underwear luckily it's not really a, something that matters it was a range up so in my mind i was like it doesn't matter but for posterity i removed it i won't be taking any more boss items if i take like an actual damage up and by complete accident and i go through an entire floor while doing it I i'll be sure to restart because i would say that negates the run in its entirety but for now we're okay let's just move no holy card from the restock. A slight bit terrifying and scary, but I'm sure we can deal. Let's just keep our cool, keep on moving on, and head to the next floor at this point, I think. Okay, so at this point, things begin to get really scary. Basically, our only damage is through knockout drops, which is good, but uh, it's not really enough. It's not consistent base damage. My base damage relies on enemies hitting walls at this point. We do have a little Loki helping us along. I don't know if it's going to be possible for us to get conjoined. Since we're not taking so many items, the likelihood of that popping off feels very unlikely. But I think in terms of DPS, we will be okay generally all the way up until like the depths that's gonna be one floor away this floor should be fine i think there's really like a high potential we could die here but i just gotta keep my cool make sure when we enter a room we have brimstone provided and so i could just press spacebar you may be wondering how many times have i had to restart this specific challenge well i'll tell you what <laughs> you don't want to know the amount what about this secret room tm trainer uh <laughs> I, dude, I kind of want to, but that's like a one-way ticket to like me instantly dying. But at the same time, if I were to have done TM Trainer, I would totally take like whatever item shows up on the run. I would give myself no more restrictions. I would say, actually, you need to take every single item. Give me a second thought on that, but I probably won't. What is this? What, what are all of you? A dice machine. Chops, dice capsules. I guess these are dice capsules. It's just like a, a pocket D6. Rerolls item pedestals in the room. Is it? Okay. I mean, is that not just a per throw? I'll take it. Sure. Um, I guess I'll use it on the treasure room. Why does it smell like strawberries? Is it because it's red and that's it? <laughs> Oh, hey, there you go. This is a new item. What are you? Woolen cap. Uh, sheep familiars. Oh, we know this one. Basically, every single floor, we get some sheep familiars that help uh, just us along on our journey. I'll take it. It's part of the golden chest pool, so it's counting. Okay. I think keys are going to be the most important pickup and resource on this run. Keys will lead us to treasure rooms and give us the golden chests, which are the only ways that I've uh, made it so that I'm allowed to get items. Any other way is absolutely no bueno. But a magic mushroom. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that would have been hype as hell, but that's okay. Shop below us, we don't need it. Really no point in finding cash at all today, actually. But here we go, another treasure room. It's a bag of crafting. Let's try this capsule D6 thing. Zodiac? I feel like this item is gonna bone me over, but I'll, I'll commit to it, whatever. Probably gonna hate myself within like the next like five minutes or so, but uh, whatever, let's do it. There were other golden items I was uh, considering trying to start with and giving myself uh, like an extra challenge. The whole tainted loss only treasure room type deal. I was considering golden poly, but when I gave myself two polyphemuses, uh, it doesn't seem to actually affect you. <laughs> Uh, the first poly makes you down to like one tier rate and 15 base damage. I gave myself a second one and nothing happened. I still kind of want to start with that. I, I might just give myself like an extra rule. Like maybe I start with golden polyphemus 
two polyphemuses and I give myself 30 damage and, you know, whatever low amount of tier rate so I can emulate golden poly. Either way, golden items are back. Okay, Curse of the Lost means I don't get to use the world card again. That's funny. I have no idea what this chest is, but it makes me feel like I need to use soul hearts to open it. Soul hearts, and it's very tainted lost coded. I... I'm not even gonna mess with it. Nope. I said if I die, that's it. If I die, I die and I'm not continuing and I'm not experimenting with anything extra. My goal is to hit the end and that's it. That being said, my goodness, pill moment. Hell yeah. I, you know, I, I guess I might as well be looking into these, right? Because of the holy cards. I should have skipped the last floors like I did, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to donate. Get that luck up. Hell yeah. At least one plus luck. I'd say that's worth it. I, I even got it really cheap. It was like five cents plus a luck. Up. I should have stopped right there. Okay, <laughs> you know I'm trying to play hella cautious when I'm not just like, eh, whatever, let's just walk past these spike blocks. When I actually go out of my way to bait it and then walk in the other direction, that's how you know I'm absolutely dialed, dude. I am going for the Dubberton. All right, please don't punish me. I uh, What is it? Ooh, this absolutely does not work, I don't think. Wow, okay. I don't know why I, I ooed. That, that should make it, they should make it so that works. No, oh no, please, God. Oh my lord, little Loki, do not. <laughs> they should just make it so it's like a, a brimstone beam, but it, it just looks like it's hopping. I don't, you know, never mind, that's a stupid idea. I just wish it worked, okay? <laughs> oh God, as we go along, I'm starting to no longer one-shot even basic enemies anymore unless they hit the wall. If Tammy is not available, it's like over for me. Like, look at this. I use Tammy and a full brim and this guy's surviving. What is that mean for one four from now i'm gonna be struggling can't even take the extra tears up let's lock in i think we can do it now i can finally use my world card as well so what's happening is that vault worth it probably because according to my challenge rules golden chests are on the table for items and vaults can sometimes have a lot of golden chests it's better than me spending my time going to the curse room you know so let's do that made it here safe and sound better text your mom that you're here oh my god green don't do this to me okay we're fine counterfeit penny just because it satisfies me i'm gonna be optimal here take it and then take up all of the coinage even though there's no point in it i just think that it's the the better practice to do also for this there you go 50 cents we got a blown up keeper a clear start and end goal for the treasure room and the boss i'm also gonna fight the mini boss because i'm j i just want to know who they are really like who are you <laughs> oh envy for sure later my guy shoop the whoop we definitely do not need okay now let's make a straight shot and book it directly to the boss Oh my god it's the scariest room in the binding of isaac history please these sheep are destroying me and my will to live like how can i how can i do this <laughs> can you guys oh uh, you know what i guess i might as well be doing this actually this is the smart thing if you have flight you can do this entire room without even having to worry right oh my god okay all right all right we're good actual scariest binding of isaac room <laughs> tainted loss is something else man makes you feel a different kind of anxiety you can have the strongest tainted loss run and within 10 seconds of walking in a spike block room say your prayers it's over god freaking damn it man <laughs> why this i suppose it's better than best bud who activates on damage but jesus i was thinking maybe these treasure rooms would have popped off a little bit better for me and set me up for success not the case dude we don't have any more treasure rooms. That's it. This is my build. <laughs> Unless I get some crazy golden chest items. This is all I have going for me. And you're telling me I got to go defeat like Isaac and it lives with this. Oh God. Is there an extra holy card for safety? Nope. I suppose I'll be buying these drugs and then uh, being on my way then. I have a 48 hour energy on me. I think to be safe. Let's do a little bit of lop into blop into 48 hour energy. I would do it again and even one more time. That way we don't have to deal at all with whatever that boss fight would have provided me. Let's go down today and then I just want to know what's inside the devil. Oh wow, yeah, wouldn't that be incredible for me? Guess I'll take it. Whoop, just kidding. Let's go. Two womb floors, one shoal, and one dark room away from completing the challenge. I felt like it was necessary for us to take the negative because I really want our base damage up to even just be like a little bit higher because it's going to scale incredibly well with the Tammy's head, which I cannot tell you enough how happy I am that this thing decided to show up for me. I don't know where I would be without Tammy's head. 
Now, if I walk in a room and you're gonna show me a brimstone eye laser, I'd rather you don't give me a heart attack. I get that that's the whole point of you. The binding of Isaac, it's like the whole thematic is that Isaac dies, but you don't have to apply that to me. I'd rather not die of a heart attack or of stroke or asphyxiation or any of the above. I'm trying to live right now, especially as Tainted Law. So can you stop giving me these rooms? Okay, well, we got a super secret here. A glitched slot. Um, I got a lot of money that I'm not using. What? Is that an enemy? What just happened? What just happened? What? No. No. no you're kidding. No way. I... I'm dead. Oh my god, I laser. Okay, alright. Um, I just got uh, mega trolled, no? Like, am I crazy here? Or, 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 like, am I correct? I'm pretty sure I'm correct. My floor just restarted. Why, <laughs> dude? And it's Curse of Darkness. I can't see Jack Diddley. This seems like a way, way, way worse floor. I am terrified. Never play the glitch slot ever again. Okay, well, I think I'm back on my way to the boss. We already did this room, so I'm feeling fine about this. But, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not messing around with anything anymore obviously the game is out to get me i call it a challenge for a reason so let's just go beat the boss that i'm not messing around goodbye it's a fallen wait a second is this my true destiny i was supposed to fight the fallen so i could get oh purgatory yay i mean even if it was like a twisted pair incubus i wouldn't be allowed to take it would i we still got another 48 hour energy for a double maybe even triple tammy's head play i'm thinking we pop that off on it lives so we can take care of the eye lasers that always show up on her fight along with any extra phases she comes up with so we don't got a deal extra deal chance as well nice only been hit one time so far on the run so i'm definitely definitely locked in. I think the thing I'm most scared of right now is the Satan fight because Satan fight, that can always get you, I feel. Whether or not you're unbelievably cracked at the Binding of Isaac, so impossibly disgusting at the game that you might as well be taking a shower. Sometimes I feel like the Satan fight just goes a little bit too hard and it can uh, kill you easy. These sheep are taking the full frontal of it lives though, so this is great. I do not need to use 40 hour energy at all. Very nice. We can fight Hush. You're crazy. <laughs> Um, no, dude. With these items, I can maybe, maybe scrummage around a win as Tainted Lost. You want me to fight Hush, though? Uh, that's a death sentence. Here comes the real gamer zone. Get your gamer chance ready, because I'm going to need your support here. We have to be unbelievably locked in to not die. Shoal is an absolute non-ironic hellhole. And at any point, I could probably just take some random ass damage and it will be absolute wraps. But I think we're okay. Hold on, this room's not too bad. I just really wish I knew where the boss was. Dude, I don't think this would have been possible without Tammy's head. Even now, I'm scared and I have Tammy's head. Let's try it. We left a 48 hour energy on the floor as well. So I'm happy to use one on here this fight whoops i messed that up that sucks i can still type a better one though there you go and then come back for it i want to oh push him into the wall because that's how we get the most damage there you go look at all that trunking damage and let's save most of our tammies for the legs because those are going to be the hardest to hit i want to focus mainly on these kamikaze flies so i don't get hit and we're good! Let's go get our other 48 hour energy. We're only gonna be able to take one item from these chests. Maybe it can work out for me. We really do not have a lot on the run. Just some knockout drops, like a familiar, and that's basically it. One damage up. But the golden brim is absolutely powerful. Alright dude, Curse of the Lost. <laughs> I've been getting that all day. <laughs> Just don't blow me over. Guppy's tail. I mean... I, I did say that chest items are allowed, so... <laughs> what else? Brimstone bombs? No. Contract? No. Ooh! Well, actually, no. That's pretty useless as well, because I already got double brim. Okay, Guppy's tail is actually the winner here, because we have high luck, and chest items are on the table. This could be a little bit of a loophole in my... Oh, I don't want guillotine. No, thank you. This could be a bit of a loophole in my own challenge. Guillotine's good, but as Tainted lost with this scary of a run, I'm not taking any risks. I'd rather just go for some solid Solid damage or tears ups. That's all I need. Not even. Like, uh, uh, just dropping your holy card. I'll take that. <laughs> Lucky foot. Hey, this counts. Nice. Another one. Animasola. No. Uh, guys, should I do that? <laughs> I, I, the daredevil in me wants to do it so badly. Like, by definition, greed moment. I really, really want to greed right there. Oh, nope. It's a good thing I didn't. Because now it looks like I'm about to die. And that's it. I sure as hell hope not. Please have something. Oh, thank you. 
That didn't even give me a damage up. It's supposed to give me a damage up. Okay, well, it's fine. No big deal. At least my laser just looks super dope as hell now. Another, another one. Fingers great. Please be the boss. Where is the lamb? I swear to G, dude. What is going on? There you are. Final item, 120 volt. Do I just send it? I got a no-hit lamb, but I got the 48-hour energy, so I might be able to blitz him. Let's try. Don't charge at me, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I already messed up. Wait, the sheep familiar goes crazy. Okay, when he splits, then I gotta do this. Nice. Nice. Charge at the, charge at the sheep and not me. Don't brimstone. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't you dare spawn delirium. <laughs> And that was my Tainted Lost Only Treasure Room Golden Brimstone Challenge. Wanted to challenge myself a little bit today, and I'll probably be challenging myself uh, up in these coming days, because this one was really fun. I hope you enjoyed, and GG!